Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. Hopefully you guys have had a good day and a good week. Uh, we had another wild day of news and the markets have gone flat again. And we're going to look at that and talk about that. Um, we we ended up with a pretty pretty decent down day uh, in everything. Gold's down a good good bit. Dow, S&P, oil, everything's down. Uh, we had the big uh, ECB news today and basically um, poor... Poor Draghi just wasn't able to deliver, um, and the markets did not like what he had to say. Uh, initially, there was some positive reaction to not cutting interest rates. That kind of uh, put a little bit of confidence into the market. But then when his uh, press conference started, everything just kind of fizzled out from there and was pretty much done. So uh, so that's where we saw a big uh, a bit of negativity hit the U.S. markets as well as the currencies. We're not past all of the crazy news, by the way. These have all been hugely important announcements today, and the markets have just been all over the place. Uh, and then coming up tomorrow, our last bit of kind of craziness is going to be non-farm payroll for the U.S. Non-farm payroll, and that's going to be bright and early. Uh, and then we do have the ISM coming out as well, uh, about an hour and a half after uh, that. So again, should be another crazy day. Looking forward to getting past that uh, and just getting into next week, but we should see some nice movements. Um, so far, so so on this, uh, well, this is a euro yen, but they all kind of look the same. Euro dollar, this is kind of why it hasn't been my favorite week uh, ever. Uh, we have these news announcements and things spike. This was all the news uh, from the ECB last week, and then here's one, two, three, four, five, six days, and just getting out in this little wick right here um, of this channel, but six days basically spent uh, in a 75 pip channel, and this is why I've kind of just been a little bit, a little bit down on the week, just uh, not super excited about trading because these markets have just been so wild and crazy, and I've just been. Uh, ready to get past all this news because these are all big news announcements and they make the market spike and then it just kind of comes back into this channel and only recently finally after six full days uh, we had the ECB news and that spiked everything way up here hit that 50% fib and then just turned around and tanked and just went down for 200 pips big crazy movement um, hopefully 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 we're out of this kind of mess and I think we are it looks like we might be uh, uh, out of this kind of majority of this junk right here and so that should be pretty good um, and we may start to see some nice activity uh, uh, formulating here but we're down to big time support again remember that we had this big channel right here that the market was in for a couple of weeks several weeks actually broke out made a nice run up and just basically couldn't do too much with this resistance right here this is around that at 123.16, you know, 20, 30 area. Um, we had some little spikes above, but just nothing major. Again, a spike above, and then it's just right back down again. But it's down to this big support. So this was big support, big resistance. Now it's big support again, and the market's having a hard time opening below that. So a couple of things that I am looking at doing. Thing number one, um, 122, kind of 40, 45 area. I, I, I'm going to call it 122, 40 to 50 is really what it is. Uh, 122, 40 to 50 is is kind of our area. The daily pivots right here. Uh, big strong resistance now is right here. So I think we have a decent chance of getting some retracement. I don't, I'm not holding out for a full retracement. That's, you know, that's almost 60 pips from where the market currently is. So 50 to 60 pips, that's a big retracement, but I think it could happen. And we may see things kind of trickle up here through the afternoon and evening uh, and even through the UK session and then have some more US news bring this thing right back down. I think that's a very, very uh, real possibility. So we're going to keep an eye out on that. So if that happens, look for selling opportunities. Once again, between this 122, 40, 50 area, selling opportunities. We want to short the euro right there. Otherwise, if it just decides it's not going to retrace and there's nothing anybody can do about it, um, again, we haven't had an open below on the four-hour chart, uh, below this 121.60. Remember, this was our, our big goal. This was our target, 121.60. No opens below that. So what we've seen is just a very kind of slow, steady consolidation and a move back up. This is a five-minute chart, and we've got a little trend line. There's, there, there's some decent kind of resistance just overhead here. So I think we're going to have some nice opportunities to, to break this trend line and take this pair back down. So I'm just watching this trend line, and even if we take it back into those lows, which is almost 50 pips, that's, that's a pretty big run. I'm looking more for uh, you know riding it back down into 121.50 area, somewhere in there, and just getting 
getting 20 to 25 pips out of it. So that's kind of what I'm going to look for. Just writing this thing back into 121, 50, 60, getting 20, 30 pips, that's it. So uh, that is, once again, if we don't get this retracement up to the daily pivot and up to this main uh, resistance right here. So that's what we're going to keep an eye on on the euro dollar. Pound dollar, not too interesting just yet. The pound dollar has looked like, you know, McDonald's here, just this big M. Uh, and uh, we're back down to, to, to pretty major support here, which is around one, uh, well, just, just about 15500, just a little bit above and below that 15500 area. Lots of lots of stuff going on there. You can see that this pound dollar has been really, really horrendous the last two months. And this is summer trading. This is what happens. Things just go up and down and up and down. And so, you know, I guess if we're playing it off of that, the pound dollar should be turning around at some point and heading back up, which it may do. Uh, but I don't really see any great immediate trading opportunities on this pair that interest me uh, just yet. Euro yen, I'm looking for the euro yen to do something very similar as the euro dollar. Um, these, both of these pairs have kind of uh, uh, kept at that. We've seen a nice little bounce off this four hour gap and, you know, and pivot point, or excuse me, fib levels and so on. Nice break of this trend line. Looking for a little bit of retracement as well. I want to see if we can get this thing back up to about this 9570. This is a crucial area. That daily pivot's right there. A lot of good things are happening there. So 9570 should be um, a good level to watch for. So look for about 95, 60, 70, some retracement into that zone right there, and then trading it down from there. So looking for a sell uh, off of this 95, 60, 70 area. Again, just like the euro dollar, if it doesn't give us a big... Uh, a big retracement that I'm just going to trade the little break of this trend line. It's literally been crawling up this thing, and so it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to get a break and take this again back down into some of these lows back towards that. That's 35 to 40 pips. Uh, again, maybe maybe we only get 20 out of it, but that's still a decent run. So watch that trend line on the five minute chart uh, on the euro yen. Aussie dollar just bouncing around still, still looking at this 105.35 above and uh, in our 104 kind of 40.50 area down below. Uh, made some attempted breaks, but it's still in the channel. And this one's going into five days of being in this channel. So, you know, th this is what the currency has been doing this week, just absolutely sideways and just giving us a lot of grief. So anyways, be glad to get past that. Uh, gold, though, has given us an important break. Uh, gold made this nice arch up and uh, it's right back down again and it broke that 1600 just barely and is headed uh, headed down below that and looks like it's starting to pick up a little bit of momentum uh, and it should work its way back into this trend line here which we can see a little bit better on the uh, on the daily chart so it's been working its way up this trend line uh, tested that 1630 once again but it's just right back down to it so I think we're gonna see gold break uh, if it broke 1630 that was gonna be very bullish but it it didn't and I think we may see it break this trend line and head down into these lows of about the 15, 20s, 30s area. So we're going to keep an eye on that and, and be ready for that. So those are kind of the setups. I'll have more coming. I'll have more Twitter updates coming as well uh, about that and trade ideas posted in the chat. And we'll just see if we can get some more pips out of this market. And we'll see all you all. Remember, go to daytradersfx.com and register for the free event tomorrow morning for the non-farm payroll uh, live trading event. So we'll be on for that. Best of luck, guys, and we'll see you there. Thanks, everyone.